Welcome to, hopefully, the final part in this series, which I think is the tenth part. Seems like a nice point to stop this series. So here we have the edit post form. Notice that it's practically the same as the add post form, which we have here. And that means it also needs this functionality. So once again, I'm going to be lazy and I'm just going to copy it. There we have it. We do need to change a few things, like this should be edit post. And we should use get ID. Of course, we need to create this function. We can get rid of that. And we will change this later. Okay, so in order to edit the post, we need to get the data related to the post. So we do post equals get posts get ID, which is the ID of the post you are editing. So what you can do now is in here, whoops, simply echo post and we want the first item which is zero title and now when we go to edit this post we get PHP tutorial in the title so we can do the same thing for the contents echo post zero contents The category is slightly different, but first let me copy this, the error display part of add post.php, and since it's the same for edit post.php, I'm just going to paste it in, just to speed everything up a little bit. Now, as I said, this here is different. Actually, it's not so much different. There we go. Again, I'm just going to copy this. Because it's essentially the same. But what we are going to say here is selected, which is a new variable. And we're going to check if the... Um, how shall I say it? Oh, my window just did some weird things. Anyway, um, we want to check if the name of the category is the same as the um, as the name of the category for the post. As you know by now, for each loops over every category, so it checks for each category if that category is the one in which that specific post was posted. So in this case, it first goes over uncategorized, but this PHP tutorial um, post was not posted in uncategorized, so it moves on and eventually it finds the PHP category in which it was posted and in there we will say that it was selected so we do selected or nothing if you are using XHTML you want this to be selected equals selected but since I'm using HTML5 I don't need to so I won't and here I'm going to say echo selected 
and now when we go and view this again we get the contents here and we also got the wrong category here so let me open up firebug and here it is okay so I get selected equals nothing here before PHP let's close that okay um, value equals that um, all right once again let me pause the video and I'll get back to you when I have sorted this out okay don't ask me why but apparently something bugged up a bit for some reason and without me touching the code at all it seems to work fine anyway so what we can do now is create the edit post function in blog.php it's essentially the same as add post we do actually let me copy this yes it's lazy I know but hey be very honest with yourself you're probably just as lazy as I am otherwise you would not be a PHP programmer so here we say update posts and we set get ID equal to the category we set the title equal to title and we set contents equal to contents and of course where ID equals ID what just happened there we go and close that off all right weird that's it tap that in and that's everything we need to do let's now update this to this is a PHP tutorial oh wait one more thing one more thing in here we need to redirect to post 0 post ID now we edit it there we go and that is our blog finished I hope you enjoyed this series.